Greetings all. Uh, today I am going to show a uh, general review on DCL 49 in Smart TV. This is Smart TV. I uh, bought this through Amazon and uh, let's go through the general simple review. I just first on the TV. You can see how much time does it take to boot up. It seems it takes a little bit more time right now. Okay, this is the screen which we get uh, after covering on that. And uh, these are the four tabs which you can see Home, in which you can find out uh, about uh, different apps and these settings. It's a video so if you plug in a pen drive you can go through different videos or anything and even there's a sports version which TCL recommends and I have not gone through that I'll just show you the simple settings here are the settings which uh, we will go through I have uh, put my cable uh, my DDS connection to this let's go there Yes, uh, this is for the clarity of TCL. I generally like it, uh, like the clarity. Uh, I recommend to uh, watch this TV around uh, um, 8 feet to 10 feet further from the screen. So, you'll enjoy the best screen. Uh, best view yeah so this is how HD uh, channels look like in TCL yeah, and if I speak about color combinations let's yeah. go Champions Cup World Cup to our high. ICC Champions Trophy. Eight I am just a Sasso for a few days. What, uh, what things I have used in the whole setup of this television. Generally, you can watch this is what the clarity what DCS gives us. The difference between HD and normal.
Anyway, this is all about cable connection. I mean, DTH connection. The clarity I've already shown. You. And uh, just these all channels are HD channels. If I go for uh, SD channels, this is what how it looks like. This is what SD channels look like. So my favorite are. Uh, these two channels which I generally watch and I see. And XO and VH1. So this is what the clarity. And SD channel. The sound quality is very good. And I have added a subwoofer to that. I'll show you later on which woofer I have used. I basically watch these channels VH1 and Panexo which uh, HDs are not available on the internet so I'm trying to switch on to Tata Sky on which uh, VH1 HD is also available on that
These are the settings. If I go to home, uh, you can find uh, different uh, links which we can browse these through internet. Next is videos in which if I place any pen drive, I can uh, select uh, these stuff and it's again TV and these all are the apps if you go through. We have these apps which are pre-installed. If I go to all apps, you can see these are the apps which are pre-installed. YouTube. In these apps, Tcast is one of the important app through which we can connect our mobile phone. We can uh, put a screen mirroring on this. Even this supports amateur also. Uh, rather than Tcast, I don't use any other stuff. MX player, I downloaded it and updated it, but this doesn't work on this TV. Uh, I tried to play, and I'll just show you how it works. Just okay, I have placed a pen drive through which I'm going to play some stuff. Here I'm using MX player. Initially, it wasn't working, but just right now I've checked it regarding that, but it's working right now. So this is how MX player uh, works. If I want to show this in the video.
it's a blue ray video so it's buffering a little bit in all total the clarity is good it's not clean so this is about tcast this is about the media center through which you can browse whatever you have on pen drive you have different tabs like uh, images audio video and all in which we can go through whatever we want to see This is how the menu comes. So you can see that. So it's a little bit tougher to this uh, player on TCL, the media center. It's a little bit tougher to play these videos. So that's what the reason I use uh, MX player. Some of the formats are not uh, supported. They are supported, but it takes some time. So that's why what I do is that I use. Uh, this one I'll keep the same video here so I think this I think it's here yeah this is what is not played on that but the same issue here also so there is some problem with different formats I think the I think the same issue so I think there is some issue with the processor Okay, if you go to the app store, these are the apps, um, this is what app store is like, it's almost the older version of Android, you can see here the memory usage which is 0 0.2 Z, which is of the total memory is 2 GB which gives, which TCL provides is 2 GB. This is what's the exact Play Store. People may think that it's perfectly Android Play Store, but I think it's not exactly. It's some third party. Uh, so basically, I don't use all of this stuff. I just use one, which is MX Player. YouTube also I don't use. Whenever I want to use YouTube, I directly. Uh, put screen mirroring with my mobile through tcast that's it uh, that's it about uh, the whole thing mm, this is about the app store this is about the tv and here you can access uh, youtube i mean usb you can directly go to this and access all the files on your usb or whatever name so this is the internal memory and this is what I have put on here you can go through different files let me take you to the videos and I can play any other format here
and now I will show you I can even connect PC I didn't have any issues with PC also okay. so, let me show what devices have I connected Okay, so I'm showing you right now. This is my Apple uh, TV. I have two Altec Lansing speakers. And uh, here you can see I'm using a uh, device. This is called uh, Digital Analog I mean, Audio Converter. So this is what is the output from the coaxial port of TCL TV. This takes both, uh, you can see here, both optical, which is, uh, which we call it as cheese link. Here I can put the uh, uh, optical and, uh, okay. So I have put in coaxial one. This gives me output with audio you can see this ok I have connected this to my Sony amplifier which I just only use this thing for my subwoofer output ok so this is directly connected to this my Sony amplifier which I have taken it from my old car and I am using this uh, Belkin uh, Multi port, multi socket uh, AC, Sorry, right and uh, this is very really useful. Whatever you're using LED TV or any stuff, you can you, uh, you have to buy this one. This has a surge protector inbuilt also, and I'm using a power supply. This is my power supply for uh, the Sony amplifier. Okay, this amplifier is again. I'm using these different stuff. This is like a, a multi 3.51, which I generally use to give aux input. And this is one Bluetooth speaker which I use. It's Portronics Bluetooth speaker. If people are interested, I'll uh, give a review on this also. It's a very good, very, very good uh, Bluetooth speaker. And, uh, this is my subwoofer which I have used. So these are the uh, this is what is the Belkin which I have used, and uh, this is what is the power supply. And this is what is the uh, analog to digital, which is digital to analog audio converter. So I found this in my local store so which consists of those stuff and these are the different things which I use so this is a 3.5 audio splitter and this one is a 3.5 aux cord which I call it so it's 1.5 meters long why they, these are little bit costlier is why it's because they use a very better quality and you can see the three this this cost 600 rupees okay and that's it about what the stuff i'm using i brought all even this and i'll show you the board this is the back side. These are my different little cars. Like so, I'll show you what goes there. You can see I have used this for my laptop. It is USB, there is an uh, analog input. There is two, one USB input here and one at the time. And this is for the input. There is a 
is the lamb table. Sorry, I wasn't looking at you. Hey, Joey, long time no kiss. Are you okay? Good to know. You're out of the thing. Wow, Natalia, hi. Call me back. I was on tour. This is a book. You know, it's such a long year. Okay, this, this is a book. Natalia. First things first. I heard that you were coming to dance classes after you.